By the way, before we went on vacation... The stupid. Thank you. Stuttering John uh, who goes out and interviews celebrities. Stuttering John, before we were on vacation, you got thrown out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, yeah. didn't you? Yes. Now, what happened there? Um, we just snuck in the actual uh, arena with, with our cameras. Yes. And, and then we snuck into the backstage area, and then the guy who ran the thing caught us in the back. Just We were the only crew in there. And I see. Out. They threw you out. Yeah, they threw us out. Well, that's very, very sad. <laughs> I don't know why. It's supposed to be rock they, and roll. They couldn't use the coverage. Now, let me see if I have that with you backstage. John with head of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got him out in front. He, he just said, finish making a speech. This is the guy who we kept playing the tape of him where he said, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame oh, yeah. is very, very much different from the Hard Rock Cafe. The Hard Rock Cafe has, let's say, Alice Cooper's shoes. We have the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> this is that guy. Yeah, yeah that, that guy. John found this guy. Unlike the hard rock, we really look, we really delve into the story of rock and roll. We we delve into why we... Answering this question for the nine billionth time. Every day he answered it for two weeks. Everybody who walks into the Cleveland Hall of Fame goes, it's kind of like the hard rock cafe, isn't it? <laughs> no. No, no, no. You don't understand the difference. You're looking at Alice Cooper's shoes. At the hard rock, they just have like a pair of shoes he wore once. These are his shoes. <laughs> These are, these object. We don't just have a guitar, we have the guitar. And with mm -hmm. that guitar, a story is told. With that costume, a story oh, is told. We that's put different. everything in context. I think. And beyond all that, this is a museum that has interactives. That has oh, shows. interactive. You know what? It's, what's funny is what he's saying is, our shoes have a caption. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I like, too? Hard Rock doesn't have captions. They used to show, like, video on a video wall. Yeah. Now it's called interactive. Yeah. We have interactive. Interactive. <laughs> no, no, no. You have a piece of videotape that you play over and over again. It has video walls, not mm -hmm. just guitars yeah. and costumes and sheet music from the great rock stars. Oh. Mm -hmm. Answering that question one too many times. Yeah. So how is it different than the Hard Rock Cafe? We don't serve burgers. <laughs> All right, That's so, the biggest difference. So John ran into that guy, and here he is. Stuttering John, ladies and gentlemen, hero of the stupid. How you doing? Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Can you just explain to us, um, you know, what does it mean by, like, the guitar here, and, you know... Like what? Well, what you said about this is the guitar, like you have the guitar for the Hall of Fame. It's not like the Hard Rock Cafe. Well, I think what we have is we have uh, we have guitars and memorabilia that ha that say something very specific to the growth and development of rock and roll. Oh. I mean, there are many many guitars out there, but if you have Townsend's guitar on which he wrote Tommy, then it has greater significance than just a dozen guitars with somebody's signature on them. <laughs> Think he's defensive and it went right into the spiel. Yeah, yeah. Now you could have. I'm not saying other places, uh, hard rock, if you want to call it that, uh, don't have Townsend's guitar. We're saying we have the guitar then. Townsend actually wrote Tommy on. How does he authenticate? <laughs> That's a tough one. I always thought it was kind of funny when Sotheby's has these auctions with Jimi Hendrix underpants. Right. You know, these are the ones he actually died in. You know, well, how do you know that? Good mark. <laughs> yeah. He evacuated right before he went. You know, when he first said that, I thought Townsend had written Tommy on it instead of Townsend. Right. You know, just scrawl Tommy on the thing. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> That's the important thing yeah. to get the things to tell the story. Story. Yeah, that's important. And he started yeah, with the story. When you look at that guitar, how is it different from looking at the other guitar? I like when John goes up when he mumbles. Uh, tell us about, <laughs> tell us about when you don't have the guitar. And the guy goes, what? What? <laughs> you know, you don't know, do that rap about <laughs> like do your greatest hits. <laughs> you know the rap where you talk about how it's better than different than Isn't the hard rock. Is that what it's called, the guitar? <laughs> <laughs> the guitar. John, 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 he goes, could you tell me about the thing? The yeah, thing? the thing. <laughs> Yeah, just like a mental patient. No wonder they throw him out of there. Can you tell me about the thing? The costume, the object, the letter, the piece of lyric, whatever that tells the story, and that's what we tried to do. Oh, so let me ask you, can you think of a good reason why the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in a hellhole like Cleveland? No, I think that's a stupid question. Oh, come on, Dennis. You know what? That's a, that's a very stupid question. That's a very cool question. This is a great city. You know it's a great city. You're having a great time in here. And Rock and Roll grew up in cities like this. Right, not in those little right. pansy places out there in the world. Hey, are you little pansy places? Like where? <laughs> where are those pansy places? In those pansy places. <laughs> what? That's a stupid like question. Like New York. Mm. L.A. Oh, truth. Those pansy places. Well, hey, no. Pansy places. They don't have the guitar. <laughs> New York is, uh, you know, 
a pansy place. A pansy place. <laughs> yeah, I agree with the guy. I see my, I see guys walking around here. They look like they got a load of KY in their pants. Oh, pansy capital. It sure is. <laughs> I'm with the guy on that. Oh, my goodness. I know he's just defensive, man. Yeah. Wow, a lot of people from Cleveland get like that. Because when we were out in Cleveland, they were, you know, you know, very second city mentality. <laughs> I think it's a third city. Mentality. Yeah, yeah. Bosnia. Yeah, they yell at people from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was like, don't say that. Yeah, really. Oh know. man, dude, you didn't build the place, mellow out. <laughs> you just lived there. You're not totally responsible. I can't believe people feel responsible for where they live. Man, if I felt responsible for New York, I would have killed myself years ago. <laughs> you get Howard Stern's a new book, Dennis. Uh oh. No comment, Dennis. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh now you've you've been insulted it. Cleveland, you've insulted my establishment, and you've insulted this very masculine of places, Cleveland. <laughs> Go back to your pansy city. <laughs> <laughs> I like that for a poster. This is not a pansy place. I just like John asking him that question, going, uh, uh, could you, like, John assumes that the guy knows what he's talking about. He goes, can you, uh, uh, talk about that thing? <laughs> what? Uh, what? What? Let's say that exchange. How you doing? Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Can you would just explain to us, um, you know, what does it mean by, like, the guitar here and, you know... Like, what? Well, what you said about this is the guitar, like you have the guitar for the Hall of Fame. It's not like the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, <laughs> You're a jerk. Keep talking. The light bulb hasn't gone off yet. You didn't write that down for him? <laughs> no. Uh, you know, uh, actually, I thought we did write that down for you. No, 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 no. You no? Know, no. meet up with him. Okay. <laughs> Can you uh, play for Pete the Quiet Stone? That's funny when he says the pansy places. I love it. And he said it. You can tell there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it, you know how much money they put into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Like millions. Millions. Oh, I got to say it's taken years. Yeah. And when I was at the concert, all the average Joes that were there were just like, you know, this is the best thing for Cleveland. It you know, is. Make millions of dollars. Now. Uh, <laughs> cute it's pie in the sky. Yeah, yeah. I think they should serve burgers. They should just open a Hard Rock. It would have saved them a lot of time yeah, and energy. You know, instead of the hot dog guy standing on the corner, yeah. have it inside. That's it's all. The hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hot dog. It's supposed to make money. It's got to cost a billion dollars to get. Out. What's it cost to get in? To the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah. I heard. I heard it costs a hundred thousand dollars just to walk in and visit. <laughs> <laughs> They're not selling food, but. Well, I think they have rides or something. <laughs> no, Interactive. Mama oh, that's right. Interactive. The Mama Cass ham sandwich ride. <laughs> Mama Cass. Hey, what you, that would be a great menu. You ride till you puke. <laughs> Boy, that guy was real defensive. Did you see the coverage of it on MTV? Not <laughs> yeah. the concert, but what goes on in the museum? Yeah. Did you I saw that piece. Did you see they have, like, a big blow-up from... Uh, Pink Floyd, the wall. Yeah, it's like like a. It's a promotional item. I had one with the radio station we worked at. But it's huge. It's like yeah. a float from the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I know. And I got to go pay and see that. Yeah, I mean, you know, what's the point? And I could not. You could. Where's want, the story? What's it'd be cool if you saw. That? Well, it'd be cool if you saw Pink Floyd <laughs> standing there constructing that wall around the float. But you're not going to see that. And yeah, like Robert says, what's the story? I mean, you know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Pink Floyd probably did a lot of acid and built this float. <laughs> What's the story? The guy, the guy got real defensive. You know what it is? He probably spent like 10 years working on this thing, and now you come along and go, uh, 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 where's the burgers? Yeah, you you know, know. it was like one of those things where people thought it was a great idea until they had to start justifying it. You, you should have just gone up and go, excuse me, uh, I thought this was like the Hard Rock Cafe. Don't you guys serve food? <laughs> I want to eat when I look at the underpants. A what table for two is what he said. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, do you uh, uh, have a table for two? Uh, we don't serve food here. Unlike the Hard Rock Cafe, we have interactive. This is not the Hard Rock. Yeah. It's not a panty place. Stupid jerk. <laughs> <laughs> panty place. <laughs> well, I think what we have is we have to, uh, we have guitars mm. and memorabilia that ha that say something very specific yeah. to the growth and development of rock and roll. Yeah. And there are many, many guitars out there, but if you have Townsend's guitar on which he wrote Tommy, <laughs> then that has greater significance yeah. than just a dozen guitars. Really? That really <laughs> I can't believe that. To who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always thought it was funny when they have these Southern Bee auctions and they go, this is a guitar that Jimi Hendrix played. I'm like, Yeah. How do you know that? At yeah. least that's possible. <laughs> to say he wrote Purple Haze on this one. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hard one to document. I don't even think Pete Townsend knows what guitar he used to write. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy on. Signature on them. And that's the important thing, yeah. to get the things. Could you imagine flying to Cleveland to see a guitar that Pete Townsend wrote? People get caught up in hype, though. 
Then you get there. It's like like when Jackie's concert, you sells you a cup yeah. with Jackie's name on it, and people get home the next day and they go, "What I do? <laughs> what is this?" I mean, I saw a show. I spent twenty five bucks for a seat, and I bought a cup. cup. It's the cup. Right? There's no cup. address on it. Yeah, it's like you know, what, what did I do? I bought a cup. Here. <laughs> yeah. How do I return this? This is in the fancy cup. I spent seventeen dollars on a cup. Ah. So. It's interactive. It's the same thing with the with the you know you you fly out to Cleveland, you get a hotel, you're there, you go to visit the Mecca, and all of a sudden you're staring at a guitar that someone's telling you Pete Townsend wrote Tommy on. You're going, I have no feeling for this guitar whatsoever. <laughs> it just does it doesn't matter to me. It's exactly like the Hard Rock Cafe, <laughs> except that you don't have the benefit of eating at least. You can go to Sam Ash and see a guitar. <laughs> you know, I love rock roll, you know, but I have no desire. To yeah, it. but I mean, if you go to Sam Ash, I could just point out any guitar and say, this is just like the guitar that yeah. Pete Townsend wrote That's Tommy on. What Eddie Van Halen plays. Yeah, he plays a Stratocaster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we ought to do that at Sam Ash. We ought to set up a little booth. I mean, I always thought the Hard Rock Cafe was funny. Yeah. Because you see these little, like, they have those displays yeah. behind glass, and you walk up, and it's Elvis's driver's license. Yeah, and, and, and even the Hard Rock Cafe was a flimsy concept. <laughs> <laughs> now they've got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Tell the story, the costume, the object, the letter, the piece of lyric, whatever that tells the story, and that's what we tried to do. Oh, so let me ask you. Now he realizes on this next question that he just wasted his time talking to John. <laughs> oh. And it probably it hurts him to make this speech again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. He was just like, oh, not this again. <laughs> I thought I've explained to the whole world why we're better than the Hard Rock Cafe. Okay, it's my job. I'm going to stand right. here and do it one more time. Why? Good reason why the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in a hellhole like Cleveland. <laughs> now, I think that's a stupid Over question. Here. Oh, come on, Dennis. <laughs> you know what? That's a, that's a very stupid question. That's a very cool question. This is a great city. You know it's a great city. You're having a great time okay, here. And Rock and Roll grew up in cities like this. Not in those little pansy places out there in the world. Hey, are you going to be getting Howard Stern's a new book, then? <laughs> pansy places. No comment, then. Everybody's got to knock the pansies. I am out of here. <laughs> Such a great word. Goddamn queers always getting out. Ah! Always. Leave the, Leave the fags alone. <laughs> Christ, they got enough problems. They're throwing them out of the plaza. Leave right. them alone. The Republican Party won't take their money. Oh. All right, let me take a break. Snort a little coke and then come back. I mean, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. I shouldn't have said that. That's terrible. I don't want to reveal my problems on the air. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Of course Try not. Try to be professional. Yeah, no. We would never do that. I mean, try to be professional. <laughs> uh, I wanna, what would be in your museum? What? What would be in your museum? I wouldn't have a museum. Come on. you got to put some displays The tissues that Howard... you got to tell these stories. Big box of Kleenex tissues. You'd walk in. You'd see, these are the tissues that Howard these, used. These, the these, tissues that Howard used to, these, you know, to get himself off every night when he thought about different girls. 